What it do, GNG fam? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, it's another video. But before we get into the video, let me give you a, a in-depth of what we're doing here with this video here. This video here is basically the introduction to seeing me in action. Yes, you're going to finally start to see me in action, doing the work, bearing the line, going up on the driveway. You see the machine thumping, all that good stuff. But first, before we get into it, you already know. Let's jump straight into that intro, baby. The last of a dime breed. Stars in the ceiling of my coupe. But I started from the bottom, two bedroom pigeon coop. And it was seven of us, so we had to make room. I remember playing the night sleeping on the floor. Yeah. Daddy got a warrant, crackers at the door. Yeah. Mama working double shifts at Burger King. Mom. All right, GNG, we back with it again. Like I told you, we got the tripod now, so I'm going to be able to do what I do as far as opening up the ground with the Wumper right here, and you'll be able to see the process of what it takes, how long it takes and everything. So this particular job here, I just wanted to choose a short one for y'all. Since it's basically going, you should be able to see the uh, nid from right here. I'm going to try to zoom in for you. I don't think it's going to let me. Hold on. Gonna let me, but you can see the knee trying to point to it. I don't think I don't think it's gonna my dirty finger there, but you get the point, man. The knee back there, you'll see me walk up close to it, and then you got the terminal right here. See the terminal, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. Y'all can time me. I say it's probably gonna take me a total of 10 minutes max open the ground up get the line in and uh stump it back in but y'all go ahead and time it though starting now the last of a dime breed That's it. I done opened up the ground. You see my trench line, right? Now all it is is just putting the line in the ground. You see how easy this is? I don't take a rocket science to do this. The last of a dime breed. show you this when you get down to the end let's see if I can push the camera down for you when you get down here to the end this is one of the key areas where they get their lines cut at right here you see how I came right here with my trench but the line is right here so all you gotta do is just get your hand you gotta get a little dirty when you're out here in the field man can't be scared to get a little dirty that's it man it's that simple you just get your poker Poke that boy back down, stomp it in, put that excess dirt back, just like that folks, I'm done. And for my timer, I started the video at 7 minutes and 36 seconds ago. Just made some peas, man. Might want to eat. Just saying, man, I'm just saying. Yep, you just seen it. And I'm gone. I'm on to the next one. Let's keep it rolling. The last of a dime breed. Oh, 
All right, GNG, I done pulled up to another job site. You can see the terminal right there. This is a copper line, copper two. I want to show you the route. That's why I wanted to pull y'all up so y'all can see the route of what it's going to have to take to get this one in. So, see, you can't go through the neighbor yard. They got a fence up. So, this is the eastman right here between the two properties. You got this property over on this side, then you got this property over here. And this is what you call it, back eastman right here. This is the back eastman. So the line going up to the terminal, up to the mid at the house, coming through the back eastman of the duplex, uh, not duplex, I want to say, uh, I think it's, I don't know, I don't know, duplex, apartment complex, I don't know, townhouse, you know what I mean. You know when it's in these type of settings, man. Yeah, got to go through all this, come around this side of this tree, so that's the neighboring side. And you're coming all the way up, you can still see the line going. And the terminal, I think it is on the other side, right over here. I doubt if it's right here. Yeah, it's going under the sidewalk. And it's somewhere over here. And somewhere under here, all this mess over here is the actual terminal for the copper. Somewhere up in here. They didn't put all this fake, I mean, all this dead grass back. But that's the, the route. We're gonna have to take the bear of this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything started up. Get the, uh, one for the poker pretty much get going with this. I'm gonna pull y'all back up when I get it halfway done or almost completed. I would set up the tripod stand on this one, but it's gonna be recording for so long before I get around that bend. And I don't wanna keep stopping and moving and stopping and moving for you. So I'm gonna just cut you off and cut you right back on. You know it ain't gonna take that long. You see how long the last one took. So this one might take 25 minutes max. That what I say, 25 minutes. And I can buy, bet you that it's less than total footage, probably about 198. No more than 200 foot. And I normally can get 100 feet and buried every 10 minutes. So at least about every 12, 15 minutes. I ain't gonna exaggerate it. But I try to tell myself 10 minutes when I start. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it, man. I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I get halfway through or damn near through. You know how it go with me. Yeah! All right, fam, we back with it. You see me? You see me? You don't see the line no more, right? Correct. It's in the ground. You see my tents right here? You can somewhere see it. That's the good thing. You don't post to see it. But you see, if you got eyes for it, you'll see it. Well, if you ain't got eyes for what we do out here in the field, then you don't know what you're looking for. But you can see, it's all the way buried. Ain't no, ain't not even a, a inch still above ground, man. I don't play that, man. I don't play that, man. Because see, I know how it feels to be in these type of settings, and then uh, your line get cut, and they come out here and replace another one. You thinking, okay, the guy came and he buried the line, but um. Sometimes it don't go down like that. Some people just ain't got the, uh, the drive to get it all done, man. They want to half-ass it and shit. That just ain't me, man. I'm going to get them lines on the ground. Make sure your line is secured. Now, if your line gets cut, it's a good chance that it was cut on, you know, on your behalf. Not on the guy who actually buried it. Definitely wouldn't be me if I buried the line. Your line will only be prone to damages if I bear close up at the uh, near by the house and close up at the terminal out here by the road. So if I could ever come in your yard and bury your line for an at t or any other service provider, just know, man, we don't play, man. We don't play. Eric Green do not play with these lines, man. I'm going to get them in the ground. That's why they call me the undertaker. But yeah, man, that's it. We're going to go on to the next one. And then uh, I'm going to show y'all a little more. 
gotta have this out here when you're in the field, man. Make sure you keep you some damn cold ice water. Unless you like to feel the feeling about to pass out and faint. But yeah, man, I'll cut y'all back on and get to the next job site, baby. All right, GNG, you got to see the boy in action for the first time. Introduce you to the tripod. I don't know what I'm gonna name him, but I like the name pretty much, you know, everything, you know, a little name, you know what I'm saying? So y'all help me out with that. What we gonna name the tripod, man? What we gonna name the tripod? Y'all give me some names in the comment section for that. But until next time, you already know, stay prayed up, stay blessed, and stay getting to the middle of looking money. Last of a dime breed Stars in the ceiling of my coop But I started from the bottom Two bedroom pigeon coop And it was seven of us So we had to make room I remember plenty nights Sleeping on the floor Daddy got a warrant Crackers at the door Mama working double shifts At Burger King Mama